Hey everybody. So today's video is going to be, you got a new system, you've installed your operating system, everything's good to go. You added a two terabyte of storage, just as an example, basically added a hard drive for storage. And when you bring it up, the hard drive doesn't show. Okay. This video is to show you why, show you how to get it working, which is basically initializing it. So for those out there that don't know about this and don't know how to do it, this video is for you. Okay, so this is the computer I built. Everything's running fine. Now we're going to have a look at what is showing on the monitor. So we're on our monitor. First thing we're going to do is go down to File Explorer. Okay, go down to File Explorer, open it up, and we're going to go to this PC. So it's only showing our NVMe drive up and working. Everything is good. So where's our hard drive? We got a two terabyte hard drive in here. Where's it at? So we're going to go right click on where it says this PC. Yours might be different. It might be up here and it might just say manage. If it is, click on it and it's going to open up. So in this case, I'm going to right click on this PC. I'm going to go down to where it says manage. So left click on manage. Okay, so in here. You're going to go down to where it says Disk Management. Click on that. And what should happen is it should recognize your drive. So that's what this is. And it's asking you now, do you want to initialize your drive? And you're just going to leave it at the defaults. And you're going to click OK. And now your drive is showing up. However, you first have to go in to this spot here, right click again, go new simple volume, click next, accept the full volume unless you want to partition it, click next again, okay you can decide a drive letter it's going to give you one but if you want a different one you can choose it from the drop down here whatever one you want it to be and so click next and you can name your volume if you want to name it here you can call it two terabyte storage, whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to tell you two terabyte storage. All right. It's going to say it's going to do a quick format, which is fine. Click next. And click finish. It's doing a quick formatting. And now it's done. So now it's showing. So let's go back, close this down. Now our PC is showing a C drive and your two terabyte storage drive. And that's all there is to it. All right, so that same process will apply whether you put it in, installed your operating system uh, or not. Um, if you're going to add a new hard drive, say you want to add a second hard drive, you're going to have to go through that same process. You have to go in, PC management, do the initialize, and go ahead and do that. Now, if you want to see this, let me know, and I will show you how to take a bigger drive. Say you have a 10 terabyte or a 4 terabyte or even a 2 terabyte, and you want to split that down the middle so you have 1 terabyte for your Steam games, we'll say, and 1 terabyte for, I don't know, your Origin games or whatever it might be. I will show you how to do that. And then you can have them separated and you don't have to add another hard drive. You can just put them on there. But with the size of hard drives today, you probably want to maybe have two different ones. or And maybe split them or whatever you want to do. Anyway, I digress. So if you like this video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Hit that bell for future notifications of videos that are coming up. So you don't miss any. And if you're new here, think about subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye. I know, corny, right? Corny. Okay, bye. <laughs>